am done. <laughs> Welcome to St. Thomas Church, Fifth Avenue, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Carl Turner, I'm the rector of this beautiful church, and it's good to welcome you today. This evening, the choir of men and boys are going to perform with New York Baroque Incorporated. They will sing Handel's Messiah, one of those iconic pieces of music associated with this season of Advent and Christmas. And they'll do so effortlessly, but I know how much effort has gone into preparing and so we invite you in to meet some of the people behind the scenes who make this amazing work possible so that we do not take it for granted. My name is Jeremy Philsell. I am the organist and director of music here at St. Thomas Fifth Avenue. Messiah, of course, is one of the great iconic works of Western civilization because it is the most extraordinary music, but of course it covers the, the whole life, ministry, death, and resurrection of Christ. I mean, the boys love singing it. We don't get a lot of time to prepare these things, but they, they do it because of the strength of the system on which this is built. And long may that remain where this church supports a chorister school that allows them to do this sort of work. My name is Dewan Givens. I'm one of the virgins here at St. Thomas Church. It's a very satisfying, gratifying duty. Even though I'm working, I feel like I'm working for the Lord. I think we're quietly excited. There's always some anticipation. We look forward. Uh, there's always a little bit of first night uh, nerves and excitement that helps to give us some adrenaline. My name is Wen Yang. I'm the artistic director of New York Baroque Incorporated. And we are a peering instrument ensemble, meaning we play instruments that either are from the 18th century or um, models of old instruments. I happen to have an instrument that's made in 1740, so every time I play my instrument, I feel that I'm brought back to that time. The idea is that we hear Handel's Messiah as he might have heard it. It's a low D, uh, and it's, I'm the only one who can play that, that low. It adds depth. People usually tell me, we can not always hear you, but we feel you. Also, it's probably one of the only church that still have the Anglican choir, and they produce such a different sound. Boys' voices, they have this very wonderful, pure quality. It's so unique. I think, I mean, I love girls' choirs. I'm, <laughs> I'm a girl. Um, but I think this tradition is incredibly important because it's hard to get boys to sing these days. And so having such an amazing choir like this, it's advertising, this is what your boys could do. We have two sons and <laughs> our plan is to, to enroll them here at St. Thomas. It means even more to have the glorious space that we're in here. It was originally written for the liturgical setting, so it feels like we're really singing to God and really um, magnifying Handel's work. Messiah allows us just to take a step back and think about perhaps what the Christmas season really symbolizes. The great story of Christ uh, given to mankind. Hopefully it hits home that cycle of birth and death that touches us all and just gives us pause for thought. There are folks here who come to St. Thomas because of the music. Folks who really rely on this performance of Handel's Messiah to start their season. And that's an amazing thing for a child of 9 or 10 or 12 years. To know that he matters that much really gives him a sense of what he can do and what the power of his potential is. I always say to the boys, you are always singing to somebody in this audience for whom this is the first time. And you are going to hit them between the eyes with this extraordinary music, with this extraordinary story, and you're going to change somebody else's life because of what you do. I have the privilege of hearing these boys in the small, quiet moments when they're just students and they're walking around school. 
but as they bound up and down the stairs, they sing, they hum, they whistle, and it's just great to witness. And it's proof that they really live into this experience. It's not just a performance for them. It really is so much of who they are and what they do. Thank you.